Welcome boot campers to this small yet intense core workout level two. These core workouts are a little bit different than the other ones. Uh, we're basically jumping straight in, straight out. So here we go, tempo pose, getting warmed up, a little bit of stretching. Push the elbows to the inside of your knees. And you can either stay down here if you like it, or you come into what I call the butterfly stretch. That's stretching both legs out, stretching your hamstrings, and then either lift your arms to the sides or lift the arms forward, engaging your upper back. So this is just to get you warmed up. If you have anything else that you would like to do or stretch, um, please go for it. I just want to get you a little bit in the mood here. So this is a short one. Please don't skip it. Uh, please try to not to hit the pause button for this one. I bet you can do this all the way through. Plank to V. Start in your plank position, shoulders above your hands. Then energetically push it back, put the, push the hips back and up. And make sure your chest is coming down and then roll it forward. So this is the core workout. So I would like you to really pull your tummy in, pull your navel in and roll it forward like you mean it coming with your shoulders above your hands and then a new cycle begins round and round we go 15 more seconds so when you roll forward in order to engage your legs a little bit more come onto your toes as to lift up so lifting your tummy lifting onto your toes huh. over yet warming up your legs a little squat pulses and I mean pulsing from mid height to low height and that's knee height so basically pulse as low as you can pushing your hips back and down and keeping your whole foot on the ground I know you would like to lift your toes a little bit but don't do it keep your feet flat on the ground also if you would like to engage your upper back a little bit Stretch your arms out, thumbs backwards, arms in V position, shoulders down, chest up, chin up, gaze forward. That's a great position. Very strong, powerful, empowering. There we go. This is a, basically a full body, mind and spirit do over. Single leg lunges. We're alternating, left and right. And what I really like about this is your focus is forward. So although you're stepping backwards, your focus is forward. <laughs> so always looking ahead of yourself. Don't look back. That's just hurting your neck and collapsing your chest and who likes a collapsed chest? So always look forward, always look ahead. Lift the eyes, lift the gaze. Picking your chin up, there you go. All the way, you're doing lunges. Lunge backwards. And this should allow you to get really warmed up so we can hit into our core main workout. Starting with elbow plank. Make sure you have a cushioned surface for your elbows. It's all about self-love. So if you need to pause just for getting a towel or uh, a blanket or whatever, go for it. Otherwise, just hit the floor, elbows, shoulder width apart, forearms are parallel. And now push your forehead forward and push your heels back. This is a great stable plank. Now pull the navel in and sit it out in the fire. Just burn it, baby. Just burn through it. I know you want to. We're getting out of here cleansed and drenched in sweat. <laughs> All right, here we go. Side plank. Left hand is down. One foot is in front of the other. Now lift your right hand into T position. And now push your hips up into an inverse V and grab whatever calf you can from below as to pushing your hips up as much as you can. 
And this is working not only on your core, we're twisting, this is the oblique muscles we're working on. This is also working on your back muscle. Yeah, keep going. I think this is also so much fun because we're changing orientation. We're basically coming from an inversion back into a plank position. Breathe it. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. You got this. All right. Change to the other side. Right hand is on the ground. Your left arm is doing the work. So rep it. Grab your calf from below. Push your hips up as much as you can. Now I would really like you to feel this V pose. Pushing the hips up and twisting the upper body. This is amazing shoulder work here. As you can see, all the shoulder muscles are working. Now breathe. Take the oxygen in, exhale when you grab, inhale when you lift. We're having five more seconds with this beautiful exercise. And then we're changing again on the left side. This time we're giving some love to your wrists and coming down onto the elbows only. So get the right arm up to the sky or ceiling and now wrap it around the body. We're not pushing the hips up this time, but we're staying more or less in a side plank position and wrapping the arm around the body. And this should really crunch your abs twist your abs as you can see here sucking the navel in sizzling these abdominals if you're sweating you're doing it right keep breathing keep breathing through the fire great one Turn it around onto the other side. Make sure your elbow is cushioned so you don't help yourself. Nobody likes an elbow with blue spots on it. So right elbow on the ground, left arm is up in the sky and then wrap your arm around your body. Give yourself a hug. Give yourself some love. Make sure you're staying more or less in the plank position and rotate the upper body. So the left arm rotating you can't see my abs right now but they for sure work core strength here from our center core and breathe it just a few more you can do it I believe in you and you did it so this is the only moment I would allow you to hit pause just to relax your shoulders if you need to because we're coming into plank and from that plank we're stepping forward right and left you know this one from the athletic or kickboxing workouts where I make a jump but since we're focusing on core I would like you to step simply step back into plank position and you can do that at any speed because we're not focusing on cardio as much as we're focusing on core strength. So slow is fine as long as you're hitting the whole 45 seconds here. Make sure to check your shoulders. Shoulders are away from the ears. Don't overuse your trapezius. Be nice. And Hit pause if you need to, otherwise we're gonna do some plank jack pulls. Hand is coming all the way to the shoulder, so you're basically rowing with your arms. Please engage the upper back, engage the upper back muscles, and now your feet are jumping out and in. If this jumping is too much for you today, that's totally fine. Just stay in the out position. Just open those legs, stay in plank, and get those arms moving. Like I said, this is more about core, not so much about cardio. We do a lot of cardio. So hey, we can allow ourselves 
to just focus on our core. Or maybe you walk it. Whatever you do, I'm sure it's perfect for you. Just perfect for you. All right. Let's have a little bit of a stretch before we hit two more exercises. Just relaxing our shoulders. Relaxing the front of the shoulders and our chest. So open your arms to the sides. Palms are facing up. Open the chest. You got this. Two more exercises to go. But first of all, stretch your chest. Interlace your hands behind your back. Open the shoulder girdle. Lift those hands up if you want to. You can also relax your neck. Bringing the ear to the shoulder. And then shake, shake, shake it out. Because we're having two more to go. And there it is. So now we jump. However, you do not need to if you don't want to. You can either do three jumps or three steps. If you step, come back into plank each time. So we're doing three, two, and one lunge, and then we open up into a rotated lunge. That's a beautiful position. And this is just as well stretching as well as engaging our core. So three, two, one, either jump or step, and then open towards your bent knee into a stretch position yeah i do make you work i am so guilty of making you sweat so sorry but you love it and there's one more to come so pull it through you're almost there yes wonderful last one and this one is for the ultimate fire in your core and fire in your legs so plank jumps for those who really want to know if this is your day today if this is your day today if this is a good day then jump it jump it from side to side get that little bit of cardio in if you need it otherwise since this is the core workout you can totally step it so step it from lunge into plank and back to the other side your choice your workout your body your time creating as much fire as you want to burning through as many calories as you want to today yes give yourself a tap on your shoulder this was awesome you did your best as always very proud of you so, a little bit of stretching here, just a few stretches. We'll be quick. So place your right hand in between your shoulder blades, a little bit of a tricep stretch here, and feel into what you need today. We've done all those variations, grabbing the hand from below or side bending. It's also great to do the same stretch uh, over and over again and feeling the difference in tone and elasticity of the tissue. Then change side, change it over to the left side. Wiggle your fingers if you need to. Not sure what I did there. <laughs> so left hand placed between the shoulder blades, left elbows facing the sky. Push the hand down between your shoulder blades. And then open the rib cage on the same side. Get length into that whole side, into the shoulders. Do whatever you like, do what you love. And I know you're so ready for level three. So this was our third level two workout. We've done the athletic work, we've done the kickboxing, we've done the core. So guess what's next? We're having a level three waiting for us. Well, we push the intensity a little bit up. We power up. And I know you're excited. A little bit of a bicep stretch. Pushing the right hand forward. Giving yourself resistance with the left hand. Make sure not to overstretch your elbow. I do not tend to overstretch. But if you do, then just hold it back a little bit. 
you might want to contract your triceps to release the biceps a little bit more. Good one. And change side, pressing the left palm forward, engaging your triceps. Don't overstretch. And remember, shoulders down, chest up, chin up, gaze up. Power pose. Whatever you do, be in your powers. Side stretches. Great one here. So we've done all this core and abdominal work. So now we're side stretching, allowing our core to lengthen again. So you might feel your core a little bit tighter than usual or not. So try it out and lean sideways as much as possible, crossing one leg back, pushing the same side arm overhead, C-shaping your whole body from your tailbone to the crown of the head. Breathe deeply, calm your breathing down. And we're having one last one, just a little hurdle reach here. So you are sitting down with both of your knees bent, feet on the floor, and then pivot both legs to one side. Get on one hand, open the arm up, and this is more for allowing you to do a little back bend here with your upper body so you can stretch your abdominals and just alternate left and right getting the knees down lifting onto the knees stretching up and over side and back bending be careful with your back be gentle with yourself this is your last stretch i hope you enjoyed it so use this actually finished level one and two and i'm super excited to do level three with you i hope you enjoyed this Drink lots of water and I'll see you all next time. Bye.